I love the history of the Moton. Um, I just loved like going there and like seeing everything that's happened in the Motons. Before coming to Farmville, I didn't know that happened, everything that happened here. So being able to like go to the Motor Museum, like we able to tour around and see all the pictures and actually hear the audio. And I just like love seeing the history and what happened here. So I will be completely honest. Um, I have only ever been in there a handful of times. Um, but I think in a lot of the same ways, mind you, on completely different levels. Um, I do work entirely as a hobby, um, and I confront my own traumas with it. When I look at the artwork that is specifically in the Moton, it is so, and again, this is coming from my, my brief interactions with the pieces. When I look at the art there, I feel very much that same sense of capturing one's feelings in that moment, capturing that feeling of trauma and the kind of adversities that people, those people were like forced to have to face. Um, and in that they've captured that and where I use my art to have a personal sense of self like reflection, I think a lot of the artwork in the Moton um, specifically has taken a feeling, taken a emotion, captured it and doesn't just use it as a sense of self reflection for the artists themselves so much as it is also a way of presenting those feelings to others. Um, so good reflection for all parties involved, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Why do I love the Moton Museum? Well, um, I've been there quite a few times and one, the people there are amazing. And then two, it's, it's a piece of history that no people don't see unless they come to Farmville or, or People don't see unless they really know about, you know, civil rights and they know where it really started. So it's it's just a blessing to have right down the street. So of course I I love that place. I mean, I definitely like the history and stuff and I like that that's the actual building that where like all that history took place. Well, unfortunately I just haven't had the time to go, but definitely a bucket list thing before I graduate. Hi, I'm Nicole Ardovino, and I was one of the producers for the Reflections on the Moton video. Um, my connection to the Moton is, I think, the fact that I am a Longwood student. I think Longwood has this special connection to the Moton Museum, and I think it's very important for everybody to educate themselves and visit the Moton at some point in their Longwood career. Um, and that's part of the reason why I love it. I think the Moton has a very special connection to the entire Farmville community, and I highly suggest that people visit it and appreciate it, and I hope you guys enjoyed our video. Thank you. I think what I truly do like about the mountain is I like how this small town has and recognizes its historical time and put it in a museum because not a lot of places do have that, that are, you know, very huge historically. Some people overlook and some people over, you know, pass it, but this community doesn't. And I think that is the most important part. And I think one thing of how poetry can definitely help it is poetry speaks to what's happening today. I think any art does. And, you know, not everything in the mountain has to be just specifically about the museum or anything, you know. Talking about race goes back to the mountain, how Farmville was affected about race. Talking about class goes back to the mountain and talking about, you know, about Farmville as well. You know, talking about gender, talking about homelessness, talking about education, that all goes back to what the Moton represents. A time where segregation really tore this community apart. It didn't just tear it apart because of racism, it tore it apart because of the value of education, the value of how people react to this town and everything. I think it goes beyond what many people imagine. I think poetry can help realize that and help connect it to the people again. Uh, the Mountain Museum is just really, really cool. Um, I love that it's such a, a local story and, you know, having this American history like in our backyard is just really cool. 
and being able to go and walk through and see all that. And the, the museum is just beautiful, so well designed. All of the graphics and pictures and everything in there is just really cool and I love to walk through. I went there uh, a couple times through class and been there a couple times myself and um, it's just really cool to walk through. It never gets old. It's always find something new in the museum to, to look at or you know you find your favorite spot and sit there and just look at the pictures and all of that sort of stuff. It's really cool. I love the Moto Museum because I use the word monument again. It is a monument. It is a testament of the really hard truths that happened, not just in America, not just in the next state, not in the next town over, but right here under our noses. You know, it's a, it's a monument sitting there waiting to be explored, waiting for people um, to explore the hard truths that some people our age and younger had to go through because of unfortunate situations like systemic oppression, racism, and you name it. So the Moton Museum is important because, especially in a small town such as Farmville and in a really small um, rural town like this, a lot of students have not encountered something as direct as the Moton Museum. In high school, whenever we take trips or we learn about the Holocaust Museum, slavery, we go elsewhere to witness that. But in Farmville, you go 10 minutes down the road, five minutes down the road, and you are encountered with what happened in the very town that you are walking in. So I just love that it's a living monument that students are able to be introduced to, really as freshmen, that's when we're introduced to it, um, and that helps us see our past and helps us move forward to create a better future. I feel like the Moda Museum is a great place for long lived students as well as people in the community to come together to learn about the history of the area as well as bring people from all sorts of different backgrounds together to, for the greater good. Well, I love the Moda Museum. First of all, I love the people that work there and the staff. They do a great job like showing like what the mu museum is and definitely like how detailed each room is at the Moton Museum is amazing, uh, especially like, the videos that they show and the pictures, the photography, the um, d like everything there. It's just great to learn more about Farmville's history and wanting to show other people and bring them to the Moton to educate them. So I love Moton because when I first came here to Longwood, freshman year for the honors retreat, we um we went and I didn't know there was anything like that because I know Longwood's a PWI, so it was just very interesting. It was very, very, very interesting to know that there was something like it by, by Longwood, and I think it's so important for African American students and all minorities to kind of have that to be able to go to, and it's, it's a good resource, especially because Longwood is a PWI. So I think it's such an important. Uh, educational thing but also like it's so cool to, to know that African Americans and minorities are just represented in, in, in the whole so yeah we love you Moen. <laughs> so I really respect the Moen Museum for a lot of ways. Um, I think that it's really important to like showcase like Farmville's like history and because um, it's one thing to just have like you know, like a social media page or a website about it, but I think just making it like more of like a tangible, like physical museum that you can go see and like they have so many like different, um, you know, interactive like elements to the museum. So I just feel like just being able to like go and actually see it and like how it's in, you know, like the school, like the old school. Um, so I just feel like that that's really important for like people in Farmville and the like other people too, but I feel like especially people in Farmville to like understand the history that like they're like living in. I care about the Mona Museum because it's rich in black history. It shows a lot about what happened during the civil rights movement and I'm really into that. Um, I'm not sure if you know, but my grandfather's brother was a Black Panther. So black nationalism and all of that stuff is big in my family. So I have a strong connection with that. 